Next up is Little Mac. As you can see, though his body is small, he packs huge punches and can throw them quickly as well. As a boxer, his attacks basically consist of punching with both hands, so it's a bit difficult to put a diverse moveset together. That said, I think he's become an exceedingly fresh character. He's extremely strong at unleashing attacks while on the ground. He can also shrug off some attacks through sheer willpower. He's also got smash attacks that hit at megaton levels, so he's sure to be launching opponents left and right. Unfortunately though, his abilities in the air are extraordinarily weak. That's right, even though he's a terror on the ground, he's very vulnerable in the air, and even his attack power weakens considerably. Plus, his ability to recover is just terrible. There's one more attribute that's unique to Little Mac, his power meter. His special moves include the straight lunge, which is very strong on its own. But beyond that, connecting with attacks and even getting hit by enemies will fill Little Mac's power meter. When it's completely full, you'll become armed with a one-shot only attack, the KO uppercut. One punch, insta KO. Hmm, that felt great. So that's Little Mac, an up-close brawler that wants to stay rooted to the ground. How he fares in battle will be up to the players. The Jolt Haymaker will allow him to leap into the fray and avoid attacks. The Rising Uppercut is his recovery move. Though it doesn't have a lot of jump power, the move makes up for it with attack power. And then there's the Slip Counter, a move where Mac faints like he's going to take a hit, then counterattacks his enemy. And then there's his final smash, the transformation into Giga Mac. Are these two really the same guy? Oh, also, for old school fans, we're including Wireframe Mac as one of your costume choices. This is a recreation from the 1984 arcade game, the original Punch-Out.